One. Welcome back, Southwest Florida. We're so thrilled here at the 2015 NAACP Banquet here in Lee County, where we get a chance to talk to the, income, the new superintendent of the Lee County School District, Dr. Greg Atkins, right here on Lee Piss Live. He has come out to the banquet, and that's a good sign already. Dr. Atkins, welcome to Lee Piss Live. Well, great to be here. Looking forward to it. That's Atkins, right, with a D. A D K I N S, yes, sir. The you've been working with the Lee County School District. You know, you're not new to what you're doing. I think I read somewhere at least 25 years, but give me the exact number. The exact number. I'm in my 28th year right now, and I started out teaching in the school district of Lee County and worked myself up. So, this is where I began my career. So you basically you started off like at the drive-in, drive-through wonder. And now you're the, the, the manager of, 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 the, of the restaurant. <laughs> hey, by you starting at the teacher's level and working your way through, what, what, what about that experience that benefits you in your job right now? I think it gives me a real perspective on the front line because I've been on the front line as a teacher. I've been an assistant principal, principal, and then I've been down to the district office. So I've seen the operation from all different sides. And another little thing that about me is that my daughter just started teaching, first year teacher this year. So now as superintendent, I get to also continue to have that perspective of that new teacher, which is really good for me, I think. Um, for you to come out to the Lee County Branch NAACP's banquet uh, shortly after you become superintendent, what type of message does that send to the community about your thoughts about diversity, inclusion, and equity, and all these types of things? Well, I was the principal at Paul Lawrence Dunbar Middle School, and what that experience taught me was that diversity makes us stronger. That's really, really important. We were a very diverse school, and at the time, the best school in the district, in my opinion. But it was the diversity that was our strength. So I think it's important to get out because we're all part of one Lee County community. And it's important to get out there and bring the community together behind what's best, our kids, you know, doing what's best for our children. Now, one of the things that's a challenge is in different diverse communities, different economic backgrounds, social uh, socializations and so on, the, 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 the challenge of getting those grades up to uh, be parity in the grades and and, and getting those scores up, that's always a challenge. What, are some, what, what has been your thoughts around that? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to get really great teachers into the classroom, and that is, that is probably our biggest challenge right now. Nationally, there's a teacher shortage. We hired actually 686 teachers this year, just for the 2015-2016 school year. Our colleges and universities only produced 146, so there's quite a demand for that. Secondly, when it comes to doing the achievement gap, we've got to have things, opportunities in the summer so those kids keep learning through the summertime and catch, catch up. And so we've put in place fifth quarter. We're going to expand that program so we have learning that continues on into the summertime. So What's your policy over there? Are you, do you have an open door policy? Can people come in and meet with you who got ideas? Do you, will you be coming out into the community, shaking hands, interfacing with people? Do you see yourself sitting down with some of the civil rights organizations? The whole gamut of things. Where do you see yourself? Absolutely. This is, a, like I said, this is a community, so it's important for me, A, to have an open door policy. Now, I would suggest please make an appointment because, you know, a lot of people come to see me, but I, my door is open to anybody. And then the second thing is I need to get out there in the community and, and shake hands because not everybody is willing to come in. You know, it's a little intimidating to come down there to the, the, the public at, the public center. Instead, I'll go out there and meet you, bring you in. Well, just to tell you the inside scoop, I've heard you know people talking about you behind the scenes, and I want you to know, uh, uh, people are saying good things about you in our diverse community. So we're looking forward to working with you and helping you in what you need to do because it's not just a superintendent; it's everybody has to pitch in. What's your thoughts about the importance of having diversity in terms of? principals, assistant principals, school teachers, the whole gambit, uh, and what does that mean to an education environment? Well, if you're a principal, assistant principal, a teacher, you are a role model for your students. I think we have to give students good role models and we have to reflect diversity in those role models. So. So it's not just that you know kids come in and see one kind of face. You know they need to see a diversity in in terms of all those positions. Okay. 
leadership all the way down? Uh, Joe D'Alessandro, the attorney, would be the keynote speaker tonight. What do you hope that some points he will make in his presentation that can benefit the community? Well, I think that uh, one thing I'm hoping to get is that he's been a part of this community for a long time. So I'd like to hear a historical perspective in terms of where we've been, where we are now, and where we're going. So I'm, I'm really hoping to, to hear that. And then maybe hear some nice war stories, you know. He's, he's been around for a long time, so. That's great. Now, you have an assistant superintendent over there now, Dr. Amy Desimore. We are proud of her and what she does and what she's accomplished in that finance area. What's your thoughts about her and her work? Well, you should be proud of her because she is absolutely outstanding. She's one of the hardest working individuals I know, and I'm telling you what, she is smart. She knows that budget backwards and forwards. I'm telling you what. But and see, Amy, hold on. Amy, see, shout you out on TV. That Dr. Desimore, for you people who are listening, she's African-American. Go ahead. And she also, she has her kids in our school district, and they're great kids. But, I mean, she's, she, and she's put her kids at different schools because they wanted to go there, you know, so she's also a proud parent, which also gives us that parent perspective down in the district office, which is real, real important. Final point, make the case for public education still being one of the best educations you can get. Well, first of all, I think we have some of the best staff in the world. I'm telling you, these teachers in Lee County are absolutely outstanding, and we got some great principals, too. You can't get that everywhere else. And then also, I mean, I think we've got exceptional learning environments and a whole diversity of different opportunities from our comprehensive high schools to our IB high schools, our Abbott schools, Cambridge, all of that STEM. And, and Dunbar High School, what can you say about Dunbar High School? I mean, Carl Burnside principal. That's right. Carl Burnside has done an outstanding job there. Also a Rotary buddy of mine. He's in Rotary East with me. But, you know, the only Microsoft certified school in the world, and the, the results that come out of there are outstanding. Excellent. Final question. Make a case for people to consider Lee County School District as a place for employment, teaching, other jobs there that might not be as high ranking as teaching, principals, all that. Applications, there might be opportunities for them. There's all kinds of opportunities right now. We need everything from bus operators, substitute teachers. We need outstanding principals and leaders, and we need regular high-quality teachers in all different kinds of fields. And one of my main missions is setting a wonderful working environment for those employees to work in. So please come join us in the Lee County School District. I made my career here. I've loved it. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Dr. Atkins, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for coming here, joining us at the NAACP Banquet 2015 right here in Lee County. We'll be right back.